Good evening, YouTube family. How's everybody doing tonight? This is Robin Hood and Stock Talk with Jaime G. That be me. For those of you that don't know, well, now you know. I'm the guy that brings you the latest, the greatest, and them stocks for your radar. So hopefully, your account, my account, can go up in them dollar signs, guys. I am definitely not your financial advisor. If I look like him, well, I'm not. I'm better looking anyways. <laughs> Joking. I'm just merely sharing my thoughts and opinions, guys, as I invest in the stock market and my Robin Hood account. You guys can do me a solid, man. Help me out. Show me some mad love, guys. Man, I haven't got no love, guys. You know what I mean? No, no subscribers. No thumbs up. No comments down below. Nothing, guys. Come on, man. You guys are hurting my feelings, man. Show this guy some love, man. You know what I mean? I take my time out of the day to make these videos for you and I so we can have stocks on our radar, guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it would be nice. And it's free, guys. It don't cost you nothing to hit that subscribe bell or maybe give me a fat thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you can, man. If not, I get it. I understand. It's okay. I will still be making these videos. I've been gone for a couple days, guys. Sorry, man. I've been uh, going through a little bit of things here. You know, some personal things. Taking care of some stuff. So I apologize, guys. Apologize, guys but I'm back. I'm not going to be too long. Just long enough. We are going to be talking about a recovery stock called Every. Right? It's in the gaming industry, right? Dealing with casinos right they supply some casinos with with um certain things right guys and hey, to me it's a recovery stock right guy and as you can see a lot of rotating is going on in the stock market right now guys for those of you that don't know you know people are going into safer stocks if you will not safe already nothing safer but uh going more to like recovery stocks right uh have you seen a lot of the uh, airlines have been going up the cruise lines guys are like uh uh, uh disneyland Home Depot, granted Home Depot took a dump today after earnings, but you get the point I'm making, right? A lot of these stocks that were doing great prior to the pandemic, right? Then you had all like Square and Zoom and all these come into play uh, once the pandemic hit, right? And all these other ones kind of took a lashing and took a beating like my count the past five days, past uh, week, right? Look at my count. I've been taking a beating, guys. I've been getting murdered, murked, straight annihilated. Anyways, I, that's a whole different video and story. I, ugh, my account has just been murdered, guys. I, like like a lot of other people, right, guys? You know what I mean? I've been just getting beat, man, past five trading days. Anyways, so guys, like I said, I want to look into recovery stocks. Like today, I picked up Disneyland, right? right guys, I picked up uh, five shares of Disneyland because I think they're going to do great, right? Analysts are saying that it's probably going to go up to like maybe even $300, guys. You know I mean, because they have the cruise ship, they have Disney Plus, they have um, the theme parks, you know what I mean? They're going to do great, guys, and with the whole vaccines rolling out, you know what I mean? I, I think recovery stocks is, is a great place to put some of your money for long-term holds, right, guys? You know what I mean? Without further ado, guys, let's just get right into it. I don't want to take too much of your time. Okay, guys, we're going to be talking about, uh, like I said, every ticker, E-V-R-I, currently going for, for uh, a little over $15. Okay, what do they do? Every is a leading supplier of uh, imaginative entertainment and trusted technology solutions for the casino and digital gaming industry. Every's mission is to transform the casino floor through innovative gaming and financial technology and loyalty solutions with the focus on both land-based and digital gaming operators and players. The company develops entertaining games and gaming machines, gaming systems and services that facilitate memorable player experiences and is a preeminent and comprehensive provider of financial products and services that offer co convenient and secure cash and cashless based financial transactions, self-service player loyalty tools and applications and intelligence software and other intuitive solutions that improve casino operational efficiency and fulfill regulatory compliances requirements. Every provides these products and services in its effort to help make customers even more successful for more information please visit emory.com right guys like i said these guys are definitely a uh, recovery stock man in my opinion you know what i mean it's not financial advice just me sharing my thoughts but go look them up that's why i want to put them on your radar guys like i said they're currently trading for fifteen dollars and 23 cents today guys right and while a lot of the stocks were in the red they were actually in the green today guys Right, they have a market cap, guys, right now of 1.3 billion. So they're definitely not a small cap or a penny stock or anything like that. They have a market cap of 1.3 billion, guys. Right, and it is currently trading for $15.23 today. Right, it gained 1.4 percent today. Right, rising from 1502 
to 15.23. It fluctuated 7.44% from the day low of 14.38 to the day high of 15.45 and closing the day out at 15.23. Its 52 week high guys was 15.64. Right, and this first level of resistance is at 15.50, right guys? And that second level of resistance at 15.77 and that third level of uh, resistance is at 16.15, right guys? Like I said, that first level is at 15.50, right guys? And it, uh, hit today the high of 1545 so obviously there's some resistance there right once it starts getting closer to that 1550 it's going to hit that resistance guys and it might be a little bit of a a little bit of a struggle a little bit of a battle fight if you will guys you know what i mean but nonetheless if it gets past that first level of resistance right then it hits that second level at 1577 then after that third one, right to the moon, as we hope, right? As we always say, if you're invested in them, I am currently not invested in them, but I am going to probably pick up some shares tomorrow, guys. I think this is a great recovery stock, right, guys? You probably ought to start looking into some recovery stocks if you don't have some already to put in your in, in your portfolio, guys. It, it couldn't hurt. Not financial advice. Right, guys, the pivot point is at $15.12. First level of support is at $14.84. That second level is at 1446, and if it continues to dippity dip dip any lower than that 1446, well, that third level of support is at 1419, guys. But me personally, I think it's going to continue to climb up, you know what I mean, according to the analysts as well from tip ranks, right? I, what we'll get into here in a second, I don't think it's going to go down, maybe down to that first level of support, guys. But aside from that, I think it's going to continue to go up, being that it's a recovery stock, being that it's also in the casino business, right? Who doesn't want to go to the casino, guys? We've been dealing with a really horrible year, guys, you know what I mean? The lockups and all these things, right, guys? All these, we, we're going through so many, so much crazy stuff, guys. Stuff that we've never gone through in our whole lifetime. You know what I mean? People are going to want to go on cruise ships. People are going to want to get on airplanes and go vacation somewhere nice. You know what I mean? Get out of Dodge. You, you know what I mean? Go hit up that casino and and and, and gamble some of that um, some of that stimulus money. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or whatever, guys. You know, what I mean? go to the movies. You know, you know what I'm saying. I know once I get vaccinated, I'm gonna feel safer and probably hit up the casinos my damn self. You know what I mean? But right now, I don't feel too comfortable yet going to a movie theaters or getting on an airplane or even going to the casino yet. But once I get my vaccine, which I am going to when it's my uh, my turn to get it, I am gonna get it. But that's a whole other conversation. We're not gonna talk about that, guys, right? But anyways, right? According to analysts, right, they expect the price to rise at least 21% giving it a price target of $16.75 to $21 over the next three months, guys. The current consensus, right, among five tip rank analysts, right, they give it a very strong buy. Not one, not two, but five analysts from tip ranks, guys. If you guys don't know who tip ranks are, go look it up, right? It's a place where you can go look up about stocks. They give you analysts, um, their analytic reports, right and so on and so forth it's a great place to look up information on stocks guys okay excuse me and according to tip ranks analysts raymond james and and john davis right they uh from tip ranks right every they gave they ranked i'm sorry guys trying to read my notes they ranked every with five stars on a zero to five uh ranking system with an average return of 18 percent and a 76.47 success rate, guys. So, obviously, these guys from Tip Ranks have a pretty strong success rate on when they uh, do their analysts on these stocks, guys. So, what they say, usually, for the most part, comes pretty true. You know, whether it comes to price targets or so on and so forth, right, guys? They give a lot of good information is what I'm getting at, right? It's last earning report, uh, the company reported a quarter revenue of $112 million dollars. And a net profit of 19.74 million, guys. That's not too bad for a quarter. You know what I mean? In the last five years, every uh, every holdings has gained a 475%, right? This just goes to show you the value creation that some businesses can achieve, right, guys? You know, and they're currently only trading for $15, guys. You know what I mean? So they might be a little under the radar. Maybe some of you guys have heard one. Maybe some of you haven't. That's why I'm putting it on your radar, guys. Check them out. All right over the next one to three years right they're expected to they are expected a 900 and 900 98.6 annual earning growth turn my phone back on there you go in revenue versus market every return of 17.5 percent per year is forecasted to grow faster than the u.s market of 10.5 percent right and every 
is it is unprofitable at the moment but is expected to be over the next three years and reduce losses over the past five years at a rate of 35 percent per year guys that's that's not bad right they're gradually uh, reducing their losses right and as a company you want to reduce your losses you don't want to continue to have losses right you want to reduce them and they're reducing it at 35 percent per year which is pretty good right in the past uh six months insiders have bought 31,500 shares, right? Which is always a plus and always a good sign when you have people in the company buying shares, right? It's when they're selling shares, that's a red flag, right? And you're like, I don't know, right? But when you have people in the company buying shares, that's always a good thing. Guys, you have none other than BlackRock, right? The biggest hedge fund in the world, right? In the world, guys. They have the biggest hedge fund in the world. These guys have $91.6 million dollars worth of shares guys that's a lot of shares right they obviously see major profit signs right guys and you have vanguard who owns four million three hundred and ninety nine thousand million shares right four million three hundred and ninety nine shares guys right which is worth 67 million just between uh blackrock and vanguard right 91.6 plus 67 do the math and tell me down in the comments down below that's a lot of shares just between two institutional investors guys you know what i mean the point i'm making is they obviously see profit they see dollar signs and if they see dollar signs i see dollar signs and hopefully you'll see dollar signs in your account and we will make our accounts go up sooner than later you know what i mean so guys that's all i have for you guys today right i just wanted to quickly put this uh video out there for you guys i know i've been gone for a couple days i apologize i'm back i'll be back tomorrow with another video but every ticker evr i go check them out guys Put them on your radar. If anything, do your own due diligence. It's definitely not financial advice. Hope you stay safe. Hope you stay green in the markets tomorrow. This is Robin Hood and Stock Talk with Jaime G. That be me. For those of you that don't know, if you found this video useful, guys, man, do me a solid, man. Just give me a fat thumbs up, man. It's free and it helps out the channel. Peace.